restart autopilot. Okay, so we have a situation here. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see. Ah. Uh, so it uh, signals and it <laughs> made it to the right lane. That's pretty good. So we are using obviously the city street portion of autopilot or FSD for, for self-driving beta. We've got a little bit music. Masane on the solo violin. But let me reduce the volume because the last time when I posted something on YouTube, it actually notified me to say something of the nature of uh, copyright infringement. Uh, this actually is a public radio, so hopefully that wouldn't bring something that would give me a hard time. A lot of things are going on um, in the streets of Asheville. Constructions, park cars on the streets. Let's see. We have some cones, so hopefully it won't hit any of those. It saw a person and uh, it kind of swirled to the left to give some space for that construction worker, uh, which is a very kind of a human-like treatment. Uh, again, this is about the newer version of uh, FSD. Uh, on this vehicle is, I forgot, I believe it's 11.3.3. Um, so I'm leaving the recording in real time just so that uh, um, the actual behavior uh, of this self-driving can be in a way illustrated. So far, I have uh, driven um, since we left home uh, for primarily North Carolina, but we also had a stop in Richmond, Virginia. So it's been, uh, in terms of driving hours, probably more than 10 hours. Maybe I need, I need to check, but uh, um, this is kind of a rough estimate. So the automatic driving has been um, very, I would say with my realistic expectations, uh, so far pretty satisfactory. Um, prior to this new software update, my estimate is maybe on the highway, um, I can use autopilot um, for probably, 
I, I would say 95% of the time without intervention because of the problem of FSD or self-driving or autopilot. So I would say 95%. Um, but this time, so far during this, I, my guess is maybe 10 plus hours driving. Uh, the um, percentage-wise, I have to say probably um, on the interstate highway, it's probably 99% because uh, for all this trip so far, um, I simply don't remember any moment when, again, this on highway, when I had to intervene uh, because of the problem of self-driving. So, but just to leave a little room, um, let's put it as 99%. Now, before this software update, um, the city driving, first of all, I don't use the city driving all that much. I would say more than half of the time of a driving time, I probably use uh, the uh, city portion of self-driving. Um, but out of that more than half, when I actually use the city driving, my guess probably is 70% of the time it can do fine, but the other the other 30% from time to time I had to intervene. Uh, but again, counting this 10 plus hours, maybe 10, maybe less, I think this is not a scientific one kind of push up for my statistics. But counting so far, this uh, trip driving, um, if I put a percentage that is for city driving, uh, now probably I can use, uh, I basically use most of the time. Uh, I would say 90% of the time I use self-driving. And out of the time when I use self-driving, I only remember a couple of occurrences when I had to take over uh, because of the limitation of self-driving. So, and based on those rough numbers, I would say this new update um, has vastly been improved. But self-driving has been Now my 
problem is the largest, the biggest challenge for me is because sitting in the car for too long, I often got kind of sleepy. So that actually is the the only problem because I'm actually not doing much at all, uh, but just paying attention uh, on the road. So um, still, it is quite revolutionary in terms of using your automobile to reach your destination. And I think that has fundamentally changed our view of how to 